can't wait to see my brother again. He's so young. I can't wait either, Rose. But I'm scared. What for? Don't ask me that. Do you know what happened? I wonder if Donna would like to pick it up from where it stopped. I mean, considering what happened between us. And whose fault was that? Please. When you won't keep your thing to yourself. Of everybody on earth is his best friend you had to sleep with. I've always regretted that. To worsen it, that idiot left me to marry that ugly thing he calls a wife. Vanessa, dear. I hate to say this, but I think you deserve it. I know I'm faulty. What you trust of the mother is. I know you can help me. I want to do that back. I promise you I won't mess up again. And why should I get involved with Wind Donald Venture? Hey, come on. You want to know why? Okay. First and foremost, I know you love me. And secondly, you've been best of friends. So please. Okay, okay. I'll help you win him back. Really? And it's not that Donald won't look at you twice. But. Sincerely, you really improved in your looks since your university days. Oops! I can say that again. Okay. Hey! <laughs> well, so let me go and make my donut. No, dear. Mm. I think we should worry up. <laughs> let me just round up to use my makeup. Um, Thomas. Yes, ma'am. Have you finished washing the cars? Yes, ma'am. But I want to get the key for. She need you to go and clean the bus. Oh, that's alright. That's the key there. Okay. Uh, by the way, have you seen Vanessa and Rose? It'd be like say they're still there upstairs. Okay. That's the key there.
Vanessa. I mean, is she a member of the family? Well, you can say she's a member of the family, but not a blood relation. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. <laughs> I was just wondering, that's all. Anyway, Vanessa is my childhood friend. She has always been Donald's armor, right from secondary school, before he traveled. I see. Okay, um... Here. I brought this for you. Wow! Really and this nice. one. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm this cute. one to go with it. I'm chilled. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I just hope you like them. Yeah, I will. Okay, let me leave you now to rest. Okay. I just hope you like them. Oh, God, I like them very much. Thank you. Thank okay. You. See you later. Bye. 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 I was only helping Jessica settle in. Really? Oh, I see. There's a new attraction in the house. Maybe it's time I go before I overstay my welcome. Don't talk like this. Is it my fault that my brother came in with his wife? Please, don't take it hard on me. Oh. But, Ruth, what, what do I do? I'm confused. Vanessa. I think you have to get rid of this wing Donald venture. Please. I think my brother is in love with this is dear Jesse. <laughs> that is what you think. You do not know. <laughs> anyway, I can't imagine my donut stooping so low to marry that thing when he already know what it is like with me. Really? Oh yeah. So tell me, why did they get married in time knowing that they weren't meant for each other? I don't know. Pregnant. Well, <laughs> like the popular saying, get married in a hurry, regret in leisure. But tell me, on whose side are you now? Well, the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. Wait, wait. So you're calling me the devil? <laughs> Stop it. Don't talk like that. Come, let me take you to my room. I want to show you what Jessica bought for me. But, if you're nice to me, I'm going to give you a lot of it. Are you sure? So, you finally decided to grace Nigeria with your almighty presence, don't I? <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> of course. I mean, when the country calls, who am I to deny the clarion call? <laughs> That's it. Arise, oh come and No, 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 you know, helping hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Excellent. It's splendid. But I, I wonder which comes first, humanity or your boss? Who's this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? For which man? He's asking a good question. I want to do something for the nation. I want to offer something for this country. Yeah. Is there anything wrong with that? No, I'm not mm, I think absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, my guys, come. What do you think of my wife? Oh, yeah. Jesse. Talking about your wife. The first time I set my eyes on her, I was tripped. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> Man, if you ask me, Jessica is excitingly charming. Oh my god, don't let yeah. her hear this. <laughs> don't let her hear this. Don't don't her so lucky, she she's not going to eat today, man. She's not going to eat tomorrow. For the next one, she ain't going to eat. You're I'm not telling you. You're not doing too bad. You know what, Max? We're oh. just waiting, expecting. You know. <laughs> 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 I ain't touching that girl that way. Of 
for another year. <laughs> anyway, so good to have you back in Nigeria. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome back. Okay. Yo, man, cool. Yeah. Good to have you back. Oh, nice to see you guys, man. You know, we are having beards. You know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> forgetting what used to happen in time past, <laughs> man. It was bloody. Man, guys, just wait a minute. I know this might come a little bit um, too late. You know, um, I really want to apologize, you know, for taking Vanessa, you know, back in school. You know what I mean? Just, just hear me out. I want us to understand that she was simply irresistible. Mm. I could not just resist that. You guys are talking about men. I'm even grateful, man. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you know what? You relieved me of some burden that was here. The burden she is now. I tell you, a guy wouldn't be doing badly getting shacked up with her for. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. I am so amazed. What? Vanessa really turned out nicely. Yeah. I mean, just look how beautiful she's looking. For real. Okay. Oh, oh, see, I tell you, Donald. Speaking of, about Vanessa, I am sure she has an eyes on you. So watch out for her. So you also noticed that? Yes. <laughs> I mean, for, for real, man. You know. Right. What does this mean? I'm married. Hey, hey, okay. Hooked! Well. Hooked! Man, she should know that now. I mean, yeah, we dated, but years ago, way back in school, no, it's over. Okay. It's over for good. You can't say that again. Hmm. So, you know what? Actually, I really want to set up this medical thing, you know? The. Okay, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want us to change the topic, right? Fine. You know he's now yes, a medical okay, doctor, right, now. so we have to talk medicine. I don't want to change the topic. Fine, fine. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Tell us. Yeah, sure. I need somewhere I could just put in my money into, you know. And you know, bring out a bit of money out, you know? Yeah, that means you'll be staying in the country for a while, isn't it? More like, you know. Settling down with the country. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So what happened? Um, Jessica, Jessica, she stays with her family in America. Yes, her parents in America. She schools in London. Wow. We actually met in Washington, you know. Wow. She was having this part-time thing with um, VOA. You don't but say. in America, yeah. I think, yeah she, she's, she's a wonderful broadcaster. <laughs> For real. She talks wow. well. And, you know, I met her and it was like, it wasn't like love at first sight, but, you know. I was like, hey. Have I met you somewhere before? And she's like, don't try that. <laughs> oh, it's really cool. And I'm like, come on, I like you and stuff. But it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For real. I don't, well, you don't work out. <laughs> what kind of we get something? You don't understand. Come, come. Go down international. <laughs> talking about um, medical practitioner and everything, talking about medicine, medicine. Um, I, I, I feel the best person for you to hang out with is Vanessa. Yeah. Why? See, last year, Vanessa's father was made the president of Medical Association of Nigeria. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, you know what? That's just what I need. You know, yeah, get good. my my medical license going, yeah. and um, it could help me one or two things. Yeah, so what you say the same thing? But that's true, man. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I, I mean, it's, it's not hard. I just talk to Vanessa. You know what's going on? That's cool. That's it's all right, all good, man. Hey guys, it's so nice to be here. It is. It's so nice to be here. So nice to be here. All right, cheers to. All times, yeah. All oh, times. Screw my babe. I should have to you. I'm going to do that again. Me and I was mad. <laughs> but don't try that next time. I'm going to watch now, bro. You know what I mean? You're a married man now. Oh, man. It's so nice to meet you. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, it went great. Really great. We kept talking and talking and gisting and we even had to postpone the gist. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Seem like nice people, though. Of course they are. <laughs> of course they're my friends. They've got to be nice. Mm. Yeah. They're even going to help me scout around for a good site for the hospital. Really? Yeah. I even gathered that Vanessa's father is the present president of the medical association. See. Sweetie, are you okay? Nothing. It's just that I get this impression that she doesn't like me at all. Oh, come on. Of course she likes you. Hey, you just came in when? Yesterday? It's okay. Huh? 
Yes, he's about to go to work. Oh, don't worry. I I'll get him. Hey. Oh, so, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. Good to see you. Yeah, a long time. And we are family. They're all doing fine. Oh, Welcome, eh? Excuse me. Donald, this is my daddy, Daddy Donald. Hello. Hello, sir. How do you do? I'm doing fine, thank you. Um, actually, Daddy, Donald and I used to be classmates these days in the secondary school, okay. then classmates in the university. Okay. Then eventually he left for the States then came back today as a medical doctor. Mm. And um, he wants to start up a medical scheme here in the country, and I'm sure you can be of help to him, Dad. That's really good. Well, if only our young professionals who are scattered all over the globe will take the same decision, I think our country will be better off for it. Yes, take the medical field, for example, yeah. with our best hands outside of this country and the quality of graduates we have these days. See, the country is in for a big trouble. I quite agree with you, sir. The situation is appalling. Um, why don't you sit down? Oh, thank you, sir. So, what did you major in? Um, gynecology, sir. Oh, that is quite impressive. <laughs> Actually, I was on my way to the office before you came in, so I really have to go now. Pa Daddy. Yes. One more thing. Um, Donald here needs a suitable site where he can build his hospital, and I'm sure he can be of help. Well, uh, in that case, why don't he? Why don't you come to the office so that we discuss it? But make sure you come before noon because I have a meeting of medical association to attend. Or better still, why don't you come with me to the meeting with your particular so we can take it from there? Oh, that'll be good. Fine by me, sir. Thank you very much. Please get my briefcase from me. Mr. Nikar, the driver has taken care of that. All right. Oh, Daddy. I'll see you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. It was nice meeting you, ma. Okay. So. Come. So, how are things between you and Donald? There's nothing, Mom. Talk to me, I'm your mother. You can confide in me. Mommy, Donald and I used to be classmates and classmates. Now we're trying to be partners and not Donald. Are you sure? Well, whatever it is, he's shining. I wish you were. Okay. <laughs> Come, let's go to the kitchen. So, how have you been seeing the country so far? Oh, God. 
Well, um, it's okay. You know, Donald has been running around for his hospital he wants to open, so he hasn't had so much time to take me around. But the little I've seen, whoa, it's really, really wonderful. <laughs> I can't really believe that so much has really changed since I left for the state. You see, it's not the way the whites tell it to be. Oh no, far from <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, actually, I came to see Donald. Okay. There is this place I have found and I think it will be perfect for the hospital. Oh really? Yes. Well, um, Vanessa took him to go see some place her dad had found. Uh, Alright then, if he comes back, I'll give him the message. Okay, I'll do that. He could call me if he still wants to see the place. Alright, I'll tell him. So are you sure you don't want anything to drink? No, no thank you very much. Thank sure. You. Thank you. I'm okay. Okay. just like that I get a building in a choice area just like that and you tell me it's nothing what are friends for so I just feel you know, I need to appreciate you for what you've done you know well, since you insist on not dropping the subject maybe you will start by taking me to dinner dinner that's all no, for, for a start I can think of something else <laughs> no problem no problem that'll be fine I can No problem, I'll get you to a very nice place. You can eat all you want. So, do we do it tomorrow then? It's okay by me. Vanessa. Yes. I thought you've been through with this your Donald dating game. What's this? You know what? Donald asked me out for a dinner date tomorrow. No. It's a lie. It's true. Oh God, you better believe it. I'm going out with my man. <laughs> my God. My brother can be so unpredictable. Well, that's your own. The most important thing is that I'm having a date with my man. I'm hungry. Do you have food in the house? Didn't you eat before coming here? Hey, please. I can help myself. Oh, I'm having a date with my man. I'm so happy for you. Oh, gentlemen, I'm happy for me too, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you got for me? Nothing. Mm, last week, girl. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, um, let's not forget. Mm -hmm. Richard was here earlier on and he said something about showing you um, a place, a building, or something. Oh, yeah, I saw him. Oh, I spoke to him actually. Um, I really don't like that building. But this one, you know, Vanessa's father got for me. Pretty yeah. cool. Very good. Really? I'm actually negotiating with the agents right now. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Finally, you're now realizing your dreams. Oh, yes, yes, uh -huh. yes. My dream, a hospital. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But all this would not have been possible without Vanessa's help. Vanessa, Vanessa, Vanessa! What is it? 
God! It's always been the Mesa since we came back! What's it with you? Excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? What I mean is that I have had it up to here with the Mesa. She hates me because I'm the only thing stopping her from achieving her goal. You! God! And I don't really like the way you talk about her. As if she's the only good thing that's ever happened to you on Earth. So oh, you I don't like the way you move around with her too. Listen, you just wait a minute! Are you insinuating I have some form of intimacy with her? I don't know what you mean. But what I know is that I am sick and tired of you, you having been with her 24-7. Are you not? I don't believe this. I don't freaking believe this. Here I am, stressing my ass out trying to build a family for us. And all you can do is just stand there and accuse me of what? Having some affair with Vanessa? Sir Donald, what do you want me to think? Well, tell me, what do you want me to think? When you love her, what? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Now that's so irrelevant right now! So, so irrelevant! So much for friendship and trust between us. Yeah. I am always left alone in this house, all by myself. Your mother is always in one state or another on business. And your sister Rose is always chasing her own shadows. I am always left alone. Sometimes, sometimes I just feel insecure. But you don't have to. Sweetness, you don't have to. You don't have to. I am here. When I'm all weak, it's you I think about. When I'm at work, it's you I think about. When I'm sleeping, it's you I think about. Baby, I will never sleep with another woman. Hell no! Never! Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. smile. <laughs> That's my girl. So, what do you say? Let's just spend tomorrow together. Let's say dinner. Um, I'll be quite busy tomorrow. See so what? I don't do this Sunday. We got breakfast in bed. Then we have lunch in bed. Then we go have Chinese for dinner. Mm hmm. Then we come back home and um, <laughs> we explore one or two things together. <laughs> <laughs> so, baby, what you got for me tonight? Nothing. Oh, yeah, you got oh, something. Baby. What you mean you got nothing? Nothing. Girl. Yeah, baby, please. Oh, please. Did you say please? Yeah. I haven't started nothing yet. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm so sorry I never got the opportunity to apologize to you over what happened between Sam and I. I swear to God I never meant to hurt you. Okay. All that has gone under the bridge. Forgive me? A long time ago. Come on. I'm glad to hear this. So, can we start over again? I hope you don't mean what I'm thinking. You know truly well that I I never stopped loving you. All I'm asking for is a second chance. A second chance for what? Don't you get it? I'm crying out loud, Vanessa. I am a married man. Doesn't mean you love her. Donald, I love you. <laughs> We've known 
liking each other for a long while now. And I know your taste and choice of women and girls. Jessica is, is my wife. Why don't you just get that into your head? Come on. Maybe my taste in women has changed. Please. Don't. I'm sorry I didn't mean to hurt you. But you've changed. What has come over you? You know what? I don't think you want to understand. Fine. Good. Where is she? Huh? Where is she? I don't know. Oh, you don't know. You don't know? So what makes you think you have a sister? Look honey, I, I do have a sister. And, and I get this feeling sometimes. And, and the feeling gets stronger now. I, I, I do get this memory that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to lose someone so dear to me. Oh great. Now you got a sister? Based on some feelings? Oh baby, no, please, okay? You know what? I'm just just about it being stronger when you come back to the country. I, I don't understand, okay? You don't have no system. Honey, you don't understand. I but understand. I understand. I understand this and this teeny winny big head of yours. Okay? You need a family. And you know what? You got me, my mama, and Rose. Okay? We're all one big family. You don't have to need a sister no more. Don't believe me, Annie. But I love you. Mm? And I believe I love you. Come on, girl. Come on, I love you. Girl. You know what? Suck it up. <laughs> Tell me, Donald, how is the hospital venture coming along? Well, well, things are coming on really pretty good. You know, I, I, uh, uh, I'm actually dealing with the furnishing and equipping of the place for now. Uh, then, you know, I've sent out notices for nurses and doctors. Basically, for now, I need just a doctor and maybe two or three nurses to go with. Yes. That's reasonable. So, when are you opening the place? Well, all things being equal, the place should be open, say, next month. Really? That's wonderful. Well, this calls for a celebration. Don't you think so, Jessica? matter with Jessica? Uh, yeah. Uh, so... Yes, as I was saying, we, we will try and make sure that the, the nurses, the nurses and, and doctors will, you know, get them all ready for next month and to make sure that that
for you everywhere. Now, whatever was that you were pulling in the living room? Please. Can I help you? Do not, I don't like the way you talk to me sometimes. See, like it or not, this thing between us must be satisfied. This thing between us ended a long time ago. Time you got that into your head. God. Fine, I appreciate all the things you've done for me. Granted. But I don't and will never have any kind of feelings for you again. I'm sure you don't mean that. If you excuse me, I have to go see my wife. And don't you ever pull that kind of stunt again. Laziness indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, is Donald in? No, um, you just lost him a minute ago. So where can I find him? Um, I think you should check the hospital site. You should be there. All right, I'll give him a call before I check up on him. Okay. All right. Hi, Richard. Ah, oh, Jesse. So nice to see you. Nice to see you too. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Okay. So where are you up to? Yes, I came to see Donald, and Rose just told me he's not in. Okay. Yeah. I guess I should be in a hospital side or something. So you wanted to leave without asking after me? That's not fair. I'm sorry. I thought you went out with him. <laughs> okay. Apologies, Doctor. Don't worry. <laughs> Actually, I was upset when I saw you here. I just. I guess I should come down and ask you for a little favor. If you could just take me on a drive. That's if it's convenient for you. Oh, come on in. I'll take you anywhere. Are you serious? I'm, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're okay. Yeah, um, Rose, please can you help me tell Donald that I went out with Richard, okay? Thank you. Bye. Okay. Thank you so much for bringing me out today. It's no problem. Um, I'm glad I did it. If for anything else, I can see the whole lot of good that's done to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. You see, though I know Donald has been so busy with the opening of his hospital and I know he hasn't got so much time, you know, taking me out and sightseeing. I'm not. I understand, Jesse, I understand. But tell me, you have um, Rose and Mommy. And Vanessa, she is also a very good friend of the family. Oh, yeah, right. Hello. Jesse, what is the matter? Nothing. Oh my god, nothing. Come on. You can tell me what it is. I can see. You look disturbed. Well, you see, I just get this feeling that she doesn't like me. Who doesn't like you? Rose or Vanessa? Both of them. In their own ways. Like... Rose... Rose feels this certain hostility towards me. In the sense that... She feels I'm the only obstacle between... Vanessa, her best friend, and Donald. You know, and Vanessa... She oh, just... Okay. She just feels like... <laughs> 
Like Jesse is not true. I tell you, it's not true. See, I've known Vanessa almost all my life. Yeah, it's true. She had something to do with Donald, but that was a long time ago. Donald and Vanessa are just friends now. <laughs> Maybe that's the way you and Donald sees it, but I don't think that's the way she sees it. She can do anything, when I mean anything, just to get Donald. And I get so scared, so scared you anytime they go out together. No, you don't have to be. I understand you. You see, things are not as bad as you're imagining. I know Donald. He's not such a bad guy. It's just that he's been busy with his project. I see you're getting a little bit jealous here. Oh, please, get out of here. <laughs> now I know how much you love Donald. <laughs> Come on, cheer up, okay? Cheer up. I'm so tired of staying home indoors without doing anything. I was just thinking if um, you girls could just take me out so that I could go look around. Because I'm, I'm so tired, I, I might just get choked up if I stay here one more day. What do you say? find a sister I never had in Donald's sister. That you will accept me and love me just like your sister as well. But, but it hurts me so bad when you and Vanessa treats me the way you do. It does. Well, I'm sorry if that's just the way you feel, but Vanessa and Donald have always been an item. It was hoped that when Donald gets back, the two of them will continue from where they stopped. That's just the problem. You don't belong in this picture. Vanessa is my best friend. And that's just the way it should be. the truth man I can't wait to start work because my fingers are practically twitching right now. That's, that's <laughs> good, that's good, that's good. Um, well at this rate I know patients are going to be storming here very soon and uh, you, you need more than twitching fingers to cope. Yes. Yeah, you know, I talk about it you know. Wonder of all wonders. Vanessa says she wants to start practicing what she's wearing. We don't say. I'm telling you. <laughs> Are you contemplating hiring Vanessa as a partner? Which is, you know, she's been very helpful to me. Yes. And when she raised the, um, you know, this thing about wanting to practice, I mean, I, I said I was going to help. You mean you're willing to take her on? Yeah, she just needs a few brushing here and there, you know, that's it. Even though you know how she feels about you? Oh, come on, come on, come on. You talked about that, you know. Talked about it. Um, I said there could be nothing between us anymore, you know. Fine, she was hurt for a little while, but she understands, she does, and uh, she will grow up the way she's mature. How about Jessica? Yeah, what about her? Well, now that I feel uh, Jessica must know about this decision you're about to take. No, no, she, she mustn't 
know like a must, must know, you know? Yeah, she will know, but it mustn't like be a must. She must know. Well, if you must know, Jessica feels insecure. Yes. She feels Vanessa hates her because um, Vanessa sees her as an impediment between the two of you. Jessica told you that? Yes. And this, you know, this feeling of insecurity is compounded by the fact that you don't pay her attention anymore. Hey, Rich. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, each time you have to go out with Vanessa on this um, project hey, thing. Listen, Rich, listen, Richard, look at the work, okay? The work is enormous. Yes. I mean, there's the furnishing, there's the equipping, there's the building, there's something to be done. I am. Yes. All that takes time, man. I it takes real time. You. Yes, I feel you, I feel you. I feel you, Donald. Donald, uh, do you love this? Now, what sort of damn question is that? Of course she's my wife. I love yes. her, innit? Then pay her attention. Show her more care and concern. I mean, you should be making efforts towards her and meeting whatever it is between the two of Richard, you. Richard, Richard, you know the work is hard. I have to do all this. I supervise these things myself. It's a whole lot of work, man. It's all good. Well, it's just good. I want to talk to you about. Yeah, what's it? It's about my sister. I want to go look for her. Sweetness, I thought we've been through all this before. Yeah, I know, but you don't understand me, Donald. I have a twin sister, but what I don't know is where she is. If she were here now, I want to be lonely. I really need someone to talk to. Now, girl, you don't have a sister. It's just an illusion. Something you created in your head. All you were a kid. Now, listen. I know you're lonely. Okay? And I'm sorry. But I'll make it up, okay? Gerald, go. Come on. You know what? I want you to take Rose as your sister. She'll be all the sister you want to look for. Oh, please, come on, Donald. Stop patronizing me. Stop. Do you think I'm going mad or something? I know I have a sister somewhere. I'm so sorry if you don't believe me, but I'm going to go look for her wherever she is. I don't care if you believe me or not. I don't care. That's it. Come on, Jeff. Jess. Oh, Donald. What is the matter with Jessica? I don't know. What was that about having a sister? I don't know. I I, I just don't know. I mean, she, she keeps talking about having a twin sister and she wants to go look for her. And you don't want her to? She doesn't have a sister. She doesn't. It's just something in her head. Something she, she used to keep her from being lonely. Man, we've been through this a lot of times. All while we're abroad. We, we keep talking about this. She doesn't have a sister. No.
Sometimes I just feel like killing her. Just to think that everything I'll be doing seems to be in vain. Vanessa, you seem to surprise me. Everyone knows that Donald doesn't want to be trapped. So if I were you, I would leave him alone. Besides, this your obsession to my brother is getting out of hand. Come on, Rose. Can't you see it? If I get hooked to Donald, then you and I will be able to be together always. But we can still be together without you marrying my brother. Donald has taken too much of your attention that I'm beginning to feel threatened. Is it that Donald this, Donald that? I hate it! No, come on, Rose. And who says you won't stop loving me if you and Donald come together? Come on. You know I want. Hmm? It's you I love. You're my only true love. <laughs> this thing with Donald, it's just that I feel guilty about what happened between us in the past. I'm only trying to make it up to him. You're my only true love. Hmm? And you know. Wait, wait. Hmm? Will you help me? Yes, I'll help you. To get Jessica off the way? Yeah. Come on, that's my baby girl. You know what? I've got a plan. Yes. <laughs> As you can see, Donald, it's not here. And if I were you, I would give him some time to clean and freshen now because he's just had a nice time. So, I don't believe you. My husband would do no such thing. Who cares about what you believe, girl? Look, the most important thing is that is mine and you don't belong amongst us he's mine and mine forever so if you don't mind your seeker Excuse me, I'm sure you have lots of work to do. 